Google is experimenting with radio, but why? Last week, Google submitted an application with the FCC for a license to create an experimental radio service covering the two-mile radius of its Mountain View headquarters. But don't expect Larry Page to be shouting ba ba booey over the air to his employees anytime soon. If analysts are to be believed, Google could be working on something much bigger. And while many of the details of the application are confidential, it does say the first deployment of the experimental network would occur inside the building that houses the Google Fiber team which also coincidentally houses the Google Access unit, which is the same unit that's rolling out free Wi-Fi service to New York's Chelsea neighborhood. Another thing to remember is that the frequencies broadcasting from this experimental network are from the licensed spectrum, which is far more reliable than current Wi-Fi. Oh, and uh, since current Wi-Fi is unlicensed, anyone can use it and Google, as of now, doesn't have control of the licensed spectrum. Others believe Google could be working on wireless service for current Google Fiber customers, which would also allow anyone who has the high-speed service in Kansas City to be able to receive it anywhere at any time, as long as your device supports the licensed spectrum frequency, which, as of right now, barely any of the current smartphones or tablets do. Couple this experiment with reports from last year about Google wanting to team up with Dish to build a wireless network, and we could have a clearer picture as to what Google may be up to in Mountain View. I just really hope it doesn't lead to this kind of free Wi-Fi solution. When people throw away the bags filled with pet's poo, this sophisticated device calculates the weight of the poo and transforms it into free minutes of Wi-Fi. But what do you guys think Google is up to? Are they working on a new form of licensed spectrum Wi-Fi, or are they just futzing around with another internal project that may never see the light of day? Let us know in the comments right down there. And if you like this show, hey, subscribe. Every time you do, a kitten is born. I promise. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I finally got a baba booey on this show. Baba booey!